Good morning, VC. It's Glenn Calloway coming to you from the basement. How are you guys today? It's uh, Monday morning, around um, 20 after 10. Beautiful day today. We actually have plus temperatures today. Hopefully we'll melt a bit of the snow we've got in the ground. Um, today I'm going to show a bunch of uh, new and used records that I just uh, brought into the basement for my collection. I'm pretty excited about some of them. So, uh, where do I start? Okay, well, this one just came in late uh, yesterday from um, Amazon. And delivered at my door. <clears throat> I've been pretty excited about uh, this project. And I didn't really know it was released late last year, or whenever last year it was released, but I found out, uh, as soon as I found out it was released, I jumped on it, and it just showed up. The Dirty Knobs, Reckless Abandon. This would have been well I picked Bob Dylan uh, Rough and Rowdy Waves for my best album of the year in 2020 but if this came out in 2020 which it did this might have been number one man like it is really really good Mike Campbell from Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers I think he, Mike Campbell's a great guitar player underrated as far as I'm concerned he's a riff machine talented talented guy this album is fantastic. It's a mix of rock, blues, kind of acoustic stuff, and uh, just uh, from start to finish, a quality, quality record. I highly recommend this one. The Dirty Knobs, Reckless Abandon. You can go to YouTube and check out some of the tunes, or on your if you guys are streamers, I, I'm not a streamer, so I don't know. Two records. The Dirty Knobs. I love that name. A great name. Anyway, that's, uh, I'm like, I got that yesterday and put that on, man. I'm just like freaking out how good it was. Okay, the Dirty Knobs. What's next? I bought this because of my friend Randy Nelson. If you're not a subscriber to Randy's channel, Randall Nelson, uh, please do so. One of the good guys on the VC. The West Coast Pop Art Experimental Band. Now this album, I'm not sure when this originally came out. 1960, originally released in 1967, I think it says. 87 or 60, I don't know. It's probably 67 because it's a psych up album. Um, hold on. 1967. This uh, is a pretty cool record. It's, uh, it is psychedelic to a certain point. Um, sounds great. I'm really happy that Randy showed it. Jackpot label, whatever uh, the jackpot label is. But uh, yeah, not a bad album at all. A couple of King Crimson albums. They reissued the King Crimson albums. I'm not sure sometime in the past couple of years, or maybe it's, these ones are recent. Uh, I didn't dig into the history of the reissue, but they're on 200 gram vinyl and they sound incredible. I got Islands. This is the fourth, I think, Crimson album in their studio catalog. Uh, comes with a lyric sheet. And Islands is such a beautiful song. I really like this album. It's much more melodic than a lot of the Crimson stuff with the, you know, the heavy, uh, guitar and really dramatic type stuff and um, look at the I don't know if you can tell that but I mean the thing is freaking it's like I was going to use it for a sleigh outside I was thinking about it yeah so Islands and the original, the first album, this is a Stephen Wilson remix on 200 gram vinyl. Man. 
I had to put this one in a MoFi sleeve because it's one of my favorite albums of all time. Again, that album is it's just like freaking at 200 grams. You really notice the difference between 200 and 180. Amazing. And of course, the iconic cover. I'd like to, somebody to come in my room and paint a mural of that on the wall. Wouldn't that be freaking freak people out when they came in? <laughs> Until you went to sell your house, probably nobody would buy it. Okay, the next albums are previously enjoyed. Um, speaking of King Crimson, I was on uh, Kijiji. I don't think there's a Kijiji in the States. It's a stupid name for you, our U.S. friends. It's, it's a Craigslist, but I think it's only in Canada. Um, the guy was in my area, and he was selling some records. He was selling a Gentle Giant album, a Yes Relayer album, and a King Crimson Lizard album. And I really just wanted the King Crimson. He wanted 50 bucks for the three albums, and I just wanted the King, the King Crimson, and he offered it to me for $20. So I drove up to his house, which was about 20 minutes away. And then we got chatting. He's a gentleman about uh, my age, and he's selling off. He's, he, he looks like he's either a bachelor or he just doesn't have kids. And he says uh, he's just afraid what's going to happen to his collection after he goes. So he's starting to get rid of stuff. And he's selling his whole collection off, but he won't sell it like as a whole collection. He's selling individual items and getting people to come up to his door. Um, he's very safe uh, when it comes to the COVID protocols. Uh, you drive up, he sees you pull up in the driveway. He pushes a button to open his garage, and there's a table at the front of the garage. The record that you requested is sitting on the table, and right beside it is a uh, a bucket, plastic bucket for you to put the money in. And uh, he comes up, and he kind of stands six to ten feet away and chats. And we got chatting. Really, really nice guy. Um, he uh, has a ton of records, and they're all in. From what I saw, what's once because I told him there was some other stuff I was interested in, so he brought a few other things out for me to see. And, um, yeah, I was pretty impressed by the quality and uh, he really, is a guy who really looked after his stuff, but he's got some nice records and, uh, I told him we'll be, we'll become very good friends. That's where I think I'm going to be spending a lot of my record money. So, um, here's the Crimson album I got. It was Lizard. On Atlantic, uh, really clean, clean record. Looks like it's never been played. I haven't had a chance to listen to it yet because I was listening to uh, the Dirty Knobs and uh, some of the other ones I got. I also picked up this album, Muddy Waters Live. I've never seen this before. It sounds great, really good. It's on. Uh, Canadian issue. It says released or uh, distributed by GRT Records or something, but it's on the Chess label. And uh, except for that piece of dust on there, it's actually uh, really, really clean. It sounds, it sounds really good. It's uh, Muddy Waters live at Mr. Kelly's, and it doesn't say what year, but uh, there's the that cover. If anybody knows uh, when this was recorded or anything, let me know. Personnel's Muddy Waters, Calvin Jones on bass, James Madison and Samuel Lawhorn on guitar, Joe Perkins piano, Paul Osher harmonica, and Willie Smith on drums. Um, yeah, he does uh, uh, Blow and Blows on here, Country Boy, Nine Below Zero, Stormy Monday, Boom Boom, CC Woman. It's a really, really good blues album. Well recorded. Then, what else do I have? Two more. Humble Pie, Rockin' the Fillmore. What a great live album this is. Um, I have the CD box set with the complete performances on it. Uh, oh, there goes my, this woman trying to connect to the internet. This way, there we go, sorry. Sorry, man, drives me nuts. 
Okay, Humble Pie, Performance, Rockin' the Fillmore. Great album, two record set. Man, I wore these this album out when I was, uh, when it came out in 72 or whenever that was. Oh, Jesus. And finally, Mr. Dylan. I'm adding to my Dylan uh, collection here on vinyl. Desire, one of my favorite Dylan albums. Top five Dylan album, I would say. Love this period of Bob's career. Amy Lou Harris doing background vocals. So sweet. One more thing. I'm old and slow. And uh, I uh, came up with this idea. Now, I want to know. I, I It drives me nuts. You, I buy these records like this. Like the new Nick Mason, Saucer Full of Secrets albums, which is phenomenal record but it's really thick and you can't get a outer sleeve around them drives me nuts and then I'm this morning I wake up and I just think to myself what if I took two outer sleeves and cut them and and made them bigger to hold the record so I did it for uh So there we go. Now I have an outer sleeve for my records. Got one for that. I got one for the Tom Petty Wildflowers. And I got one for uh, Rolling Stones Beggar's Banquet. So you guys are probably laughing at me going, uh, way to go, uh, tips. Thanks, Captain Obvious. But uh, I don't know. I just figured it out. So um, that's it for today. I hope everybody has a great day. I'm sure we'll be uh, chatting before the week's over. So peace out, everyone. Take care.